great warrior has a strong spirit that secretly defies death and consider it nature's privilege to die. And <clears throat> usually we consider death as a negative thing, and but death is really when your light is leaving your body, that your body at times is not going to service uh, you anymore. And the warriors were just that, the young, younger warriors, or the, uh, the, uh, they went, they were at that, there was a certain time in their life when, uh, when they've learned from nature. If, if you take all, all technology out in this world, you have no other teacher but nature. So when you learn about nature, and become a friend and and uh, a companion to nature and to God, then your your nature of you is going to always be want to be there. And we have men that we know that want to go back to nature as much as they come into the cities and they hear this, they can't stand the noise. They want to go back, and so that nature is is a, a natural part of our life. So a warrior knows this because they, this is how they grew up with the trees, the plants, and this is where they want to die. It doesn't matter when, but when the time comes they're ready to go back and, and give back to, to Mother Earth. Because they, they know that they've been taken and taken, we've been taken from the Earth We've been taking the food, the plants, the animals, we've taken so much from the earth. What's our percentage of, within ourselves that we actually give back? But it's going to come back to that point when we leave, this body is going to go back to the earth. This is all that we could give back. So know that. So when you're ready to go, feel good about giving your back, body back to Mother Earth because Mother Earth nourished it anyways, you know. To attend or live stream the 2012 Event of the Year, go to StarKnowledgeConference.com.